Okay, so now we let our morel mushroom slurry cook for about a day or so out in the backyard with a bubbler in it. And now we're ready to dilute the concentrated five gallon bucket into 20 five gallon buckets. And the boys are gonna teach you how to do that. Samuel, what have you got go going on here? I got our slurry. Uh-huh. Mix that up and show them what's in there. What kind of slurry is it? Morel mushroom spore slurry. Okay, so why don't you put a handful in each bucket. Just one small handful. Okay, one small handful. Okay, and now, now mix it up and then mix it up with one hand. This, this bucket. And then pour a scoop of the slurry mix into each. Okay, there you go. Not not that, full. just, there you go. Yep. Now, pour that into there. And now there's probably hundreds and thousands of morale mushroom spores in each of these buckets. Okay, and we'll do that 20 more times. Pour this mixture all around the yard, like in the shade garden, Anywhere there's mulch, anywhere there's tree roots, like there's some tr there's an ash tree growing here, so you can see where the roots come out around the edges. We'll do it along the back of the property, in the orchard, in the mulch, and then back over on the other side of the shed, we have our blueberry patch, and there's our cool tree with birdhouses in it. So we'll pour it back here in the mulch along the edge of the property line. And then maybe a little bit over on the north side of the house in the mushroom bed. And then there's an old elm tree that died and was cut down in the front yard. So we'll probably pour some around there too. Franklin, come here. Did you pour that in there? Franklin, so what have you got there, Franklin? I have chlorine remo remover plus from our koi pond kit. So how much are you going to put of that in there? One half of a cap. So about a half a cap of chlorine remover goes into each These five gallon buckets. bucket. This one we did the story with. a little more than a half a cap full, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't Just a really half matter. a cap full. That's good. That's a little... Okay. So that way it took the chlorine out of the... Samuel, do you want to mix those up a little bit, Samuel? Okay. No, 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 not in there. Just Ugh. put that back in there and wait for the next bucket. Because we're going to have to do this 20 more buckets of this. Wow. Okay, so those are all mixed up, and now we're going to go pour them. Here, put that down and take the camera. Samuel, here. Here, so you videotape. Here, that's live. Hold on to this, and I'm going to take Not this. Picture. Yep. Here, you follow, you following Franklin? I uh, guess. Okay, so yeah. right here, this is the, the spores. So I'm going to pour this all around. Ooh. Our garden. Yep. Just gonna do it everywhere. Really cool pine tree. He died right here. Yep. So that's an example of how to pour the slurry. Here, grab this. I'll go get another one. Follow me. I want to do one. Can I do one? You could do the next one here. <laughs> this will be a good spot. Ooh, my thing. Yep. So, when you pour the slurry mixture into the mulch, the water gets it, the spores to sink down deep into the ground. That way they'll take root and grow. And then next spring, we will be out here shooting another video about all the mushroom spores that we are picking. 
Yep. So that's there's two buckets. So we have we're eight. Really, we're just eight, refilling this one. Yep, we have 18 more buckets to go. Eighteen. Yep. Eighteen more buckets. Stay tuned for next video. So I'm pouring the slurry around the milk line. Okay, great. Right, now that he's gone, I bet I'm going to go along right here okay. and around over Are there. Okay. Putting the chlorine in the chlorine remover in, in our buckets. We're already filling that bucket up. You fill that bucket up right there. Get the slurry in there already. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the blueberry patch, and I'm gonna spread the mushroom spores all over the blueberry patch. Okay. Here are some mushrooms, but they're not morale. Okay. Blueberries. So we're gonna put one bucket of the slurry on our mushroom bed. Okay. You can see right there. Right there. So. All right, so in our front yard, this is where a, that really dark green spot there is where there used to be a big giant elm tree. So we're gonna uh, spread some of the slurry around where the elm tree was growing and the root line. The root line. So you can see the contour of the, the yard here where the guy mows the lawn here. It's like shorter right in here. And you can even follow that line up and you can see like mushrooms growing, which they already got stepped on. There's other kinds of mushrooms growing already in the root lines. Here's some mushrooms here growing. So they already grow in there. Okay, Samuel, why don't you spread some of that slurry into the where the where the elm tree was growing? Because those roots are rotting underneath the ground right now. So then this slurry should be produce a good yield of morels. And then follow this root line here, Samuel. You can see it right along here. Do this. Good job. All the way up through here. Anywhere around this hard tree. 